It's Monday morning, so time for another messy house challenge with Dizzy, the little fuzzy puppy dog. I'm going to admit that this week was, for me, a bit discouraging. It felt like two steps backwards and maybe half a step forward. It did have a lot going on. Uh, if you watched my update yesterday, you know I had a doctor's appointment on Tuesday afternoon and Thursday morning I had a root canal and I had to run errands on days as well and it just made it so that I didn't have as much time as I wanted to spend on anything. Plus, it was a gray week. Uh, I do not handle gloomy weather that just hangs on and on and on. Well, I find that it's hard for me to get things done. I guess I'm like a plant. I need that sunshine. So I did have started taking vitamin D to help combat that. The only day that we really had sun was yesterday morning. And it was cloudy by the time I got home from church. And if you look outside, it's cloudy again. But did get some stuff done. One thing that I did do, I got boxes. I really needed those boxes because I was kind of at a standstill, especially in here. I have all this stuff that I need to sort through and had nothing to put it in. A lot of it is stuff that I'll be getting rid of. Uh, oh, in case you're wondering what this black bucket is that you see sometimes in my video, that's bird seed. That goes in the feeder here. And we have a tufted tip mouse. It likes the sunflower seeds. Callie's not sure what always to think of the birds, so that was a plus. Of course, those two rooms weren't touched. Bathroom, of course, nothing really needed to be touched in there because that's pretty clean. Now we're in the kitchen. And I got some done. Under my sink is all cleaned out, which was nice. I was able to get rid of some stuff. Drawers are pretty much all cleaned out. Move Callie. Callie. And I started working on this. I didn't finish. The only problem is because everything I was falling out was going here, including on top of the strainer. I wasn't able to get dishes done. So I did when I was out get some stuff for organizing including for pots and pans. I'm going to try that out and see how that works. I'm planning to put the pots and pans that I normally use in there, extra in there. I hate this cabinet. I never want one of these again, that blind corner. And then all the baking stuff that I have is going to go over here. So I just had this little bit here that I need to do to get that much done. And I'll be able to start over on this mess. Oh, and incidentally, if you're like me and just have to have your chocolate and are finding that the price of chocolate is getting too high, well, I'd buy the milk chocolate morsels. Um, these ones I happen to get on sale for $1.49 for a pound, no, 11.5 ounce. It's normally $1.99 for that size bag. I found that per pound it comes out cheaper than buying your candy bars. Um, I have chocolate chip banana bread cooking right now. But one thing that I am planning on doing, I've always hated this area here that there's nothing for storing anything in. I just have cleaning supplies and the trash cans, which I don't really want here. Oh, in these bins, I have a system that I use for that. When I'm sorting through all the papers that I have, anything that can be recycled while I'm sorting gets thrown in there. Anything that I don't want anybody seeing and has identifying things on it, I put in there so that I can be burned. But I am planning to have build a cabinet to hang on the wall there. And then I am going to be also building the cabinet and putting it in here. I'm thinking of getting a new microwave. This microwave is over 30 years old and I don't need something that big. And whether I have both the microwave and the toaster oven, which I don't really want stacked up on each other, both on that thing or not is going to depend on whether or not they fit. But with those two things built and this all sorted out, I should be able to get rid of both of these things. 
which would be so nice. Uh, also be going through all the food and figuring out how I can store that neatly. <sighs> Living room didn't really touch. Now this, I brought a box up from downstairs to sort through and I was just sitting on the steps while I sorted. And as you can see, I didn't finish. I come down in my messy basement. That's the box that I had sorted the stuff out of. That box is good, so I'll be able to use that. Didn't touch this side. I am going to have to do firewood today because this is all I have split for now that I can burn. And that's not going to last me very long. And over in here, well, I got started on here. This is where that box was. And as you can see, that's as far as I got. I had hoped to do a lot of laundry last week. The only day that I even did laundry was Monday. I had to load out on the line. Fortunately, it didn't take long to dry because it started raining. And I had to go and grab that and get it off the line real quick. And thank God it didn't have to do anything with it. I Some of the stuff that would have needed to be ironed, I tried something with. I just put it on hangers and when I hung it out, it worked great. I didn't have to iron it. I just had to put it right in the closet when I um, had the chance. But this week, they're not calling for rain until Thursday night. So I definitely have to do laundry this week. And I'm going to admit it just gets so discouraging at times. I just look at all the work that I have to do. And at times I'm going to admit I kind of resent that my husband left me with all this mess to deal with. The majority of this mess is not of my making. There's things that I wanted done that he knew how to do that I sure don't know how to do. But I'm having to either figure it out on my own or pay somebody. But it's getting done. And when I do get discouraged, all I have to do is just look back at where I came from and where I am now. And I know that I'm making progress even though it doesn't always seem like it. So, I'm just waiting. I have chocolate chip banana bread cooking. That's for my breakfast for the next few days and maybe for some snacks as well. And once I have that, I'm going to get out of here. So, I will talk at you later.